Hey everyone, CJ here for Tuts Plus, and in this course, I'm going to show you how to make icons. To be specific, I'm going to show you how to make an iOS app icon and an OS X app icon. This course is perfect if you're getting started into design and you want to expand your knowledge by learning a little bit about icon design. This course is also perfect if you're a developer, you've got some interest in design, but all you really want to do is learn how to make the gorgeous app icon that you've always wanted, using Sketch, of course. Either way, if you're just a little interested in design, or you're all the way interested that you love icons so much, like I do, then this course is perfect for you. The course will be split into three different stages. First of all, we're going to be designing the iOS app icon. So there, in that stage, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Apple's own interface guidelines, rules and constraints that we're going to be following so that our icon blends in with the Apple icon design ecosystem. And then we're going to go and talk about some design briefs. And then we're going to go hands on and start designing the glyph that will encompass the identity of the app icons that we will be designing. Following that, we're going to start by going hands on into the OS X app icon. So again, we're going to be following through and reading Apple's own styles so that our icon looks and feels harmonious with Apple's OS X interface icons. And then we're going to go hands on and start layering and styling our OS X app icon. And that's of course later in the course. The final stage will involve exporting our icons or preparing our assets for development so that the icons that we make will look gorgeous on any device that it's exported to, like for example an iOS, or for sizing up multiple sizes for our Mac OS X app icon on the Mac. And that's the entire course overview. Of course, a lot of the tools, techniques, and methods that I will be teaching throughout this course can be applied to any design tool of your choice. So that can be Photoshop, Illustrator, or even Pixelmator. However, note that there are some techniques and methods that are exclusive to Sketch that I'll be using through the course. So that's why it's a good idea to start designing this course or start learning through this course by using Sketch. You can of course download Sketch from bohemiancoding.com sketch and there should be a link included in the description. Now the website offers a free 15 day trial, which is nice and lengthy enough for you to follow through step by step as we progress through the course. Alternatively, if you want to extend your trial or if you're into that sort of thing, you can buy the app straight out for 99 US dollars. And it really is indeed a good investment, especially if you're going to be designing in the long term when you're using Sketch, and if you're going to browse all the other amazing Sketch tutorials available on the Tuts Plus website. Either way, download Sketch, and that's the best kind of app that we're going to be using through the course. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started.